Hey what's going on my dudes, it's your main boy Jakeplus55 and welcome to face finally back to Call of Duty World War 2 and I see now they've uh, put a tab in for headquarters but I don't know if they fixed it and I've also got ranked players which I'm going to play a game on but yeah so today we're going to be playing some COD World War 2 and I'm just going to check the headquarters because uh, I want to get my new uh, daily objective so uh, yeah guys uh, Call of Duty World War 2 this game is absolutely amazing and I would recommend it to as you who are COD fans and third boots on the ground. I'm a fan of anything to be honest. I've been a long time fan of COD. I'm not and I'm not exactly this person. Wait what? Dude, they fixed it! No way! No way! They've actually fixed headquarters. Oh my god, Michael Corandry, shout out to you bro. But yeah, um the idea I was not expecting this. I haven't been on COD for like the last couple of days. Oh my god, we can actually 1v1. Yes! But yeah, as I was saying, I haven't played COD in a, in a couple of days. So, I didn't notice a difference. I saw like an update and I thought, well, there'll be some DLC weapons. And, well, let's have a look now. Note for rifles. Note for SMGs. Note for LMGs. Note for sniper rifles. No for shotguns. No for pistols. And no for melee. So yeah, they've um, basically fixed headquarters, which I'm happy about. Which means I can finally 1v1 some bitches. Which I played a couple games and I kept dying because well, I'm not used to 1v1. Like, it's because um, if I don't get a bloody M1 ground, I get dual wheel POH. It's not fun. But yeah, so I guess then, well, since they've actually fixed it, I may as well do a 1v1. I can't not, guys. Position in Q5. Ah, oh, these dudes love ones beyond, don't they? Just like me a bit then. Got a dude up here in the turret, and I'm <laughs> he just left me. All around me are familiar faces. <laughs> oh no, dude's joined me. Hey man. And also, what I found out as well is if you um go into dossier, you can see your level. So you can basically see your social level and your actual level. And I didn't know this, you actually get social XP for opening up supply drops. So, say for example, I'm trying to s save up some, but I've had to open up a couple, so I'd be tempted. If I open up a supply drop here, if I can even, right. Open up a supply drop here, and then let's see what we get. Uh, double epic! Oh my god. Two dupes, and that's just dupe. See down there, we get uh, XP. That's basically uh, how you get social scores. I thought it was just by contracts. But yeah, we got an 080, I'm assuming that's, I can only assume it's an SVT variant. Uh, and yeah it is. So you see the star next, that basically says it got a variant like, out of it. So now I've got 080 and 0802. So, it's just like slicker design, like uh, more metallic looking. But yeah, um, I'm happy they fixed headquarters now. Because now I can actually... Um, do a supply drop opening whenever I'm gonna do that with other players, not on my own, like a boner, with a boner. But yeah, um, what I'm gonna do, let's um, get our objective. objective so launcher kills, hard point, LMG bipod, S and D. I'll do S and D. Uh, head with snipers. I always look for ones that actually give me supply drops. So I'm definitely gonna get headshots with snipers. I'll w I'll do this when S and B, and I guess I'll do win hard point. I'll come up for the other three if I need it. But yeah, um, yeah, guys, World War Two, in its prime. But yeah, I love how you literally just view in on the the battlefield holding down L1, which basically in game is to aim down sight, but in headquarters you can basically like zoom in. I wish Destiny had that. I thought that would have made um Destiny a better game. And actually, when subject to Destiny, I heard that recently Destiny 2 has got a lot of hate, which I don't really play it, so in that case I can't really understand it. But whenever I see Bungie tweet something about Destiny 2, it's always like hate, like saying, "Oh, this game's crud" or something like that, or rubbish. I'm, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna drop a C bomb, but I'm just gonna try and like compensate for swearing, because as you guys know, I am trying to become more kid friendly. Which, um, I feel like a lot of channels have come recently, like, they've come a lot kid friendly and I'm not exactly the person just to drop F-bombs out there. Those are the only non-friendly YouTubers making music, he's the one that like, drops F's and S and C-bombs every time. 
It looks like they got the shovel when we're on the subject. Oh, yo, oh, sick. I wish you could, like, if you were looking, if you had, if you were in the queue, then you could literally see the score. Like, on when you're looking at the battle. Sledgehammer, please had that. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys, one left. One left. But yeah, I was not expecting headquarters to have people in it. So I think what I might do is I might give you a bit of guys a bit of a tour of the headquarters. Do we want to enter the one we want to in? Yes, we do. Right, SVT, Iron Sights, Car 98, or Shovel. Right, we're gonna do Shovel 1v1, boys. Let's go. Do this, bitch. Where you at, son? I'll shoot you with my gun. Oh, Christ. Yo, that Duker. You're throwing, I saw you're throwing knives. Well, no, you have a signal flare, that's about it. What? Are you mad? Get out of here, you scumbag. Oh my god. That's gay. That is so gay. I haven't played 1v1 in a while. So it makes sense. No, let's keep doing this. I'm going to get a video out of this, guys. Out of headquarters. Well, I guess we're still in the queue, got two left. I may as well show you guys the rest of headquarters. So there's obviously some secrets you can do, like, um, certain sequences you can do in the firing range to unlock the melons. And obviously back here is Supply Drop Central. We've got these dudes open up Supply Drop, so a double legendary, not bad. But yeah, obviously down in the firing range you can test your weapons, and, um, it's basically, I think the firing range in this game is a lot better than that in, say, MW or MWR. But yeah, you can obviously like, it's a full on firing range, and like an MWR with like this transition. But yeah, you can test out all your guns, you can test out, say I got the M1941, you can test all your guns, like, bam, just like, it's got a decent rate of fire. And you can just shoot these down. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Also, I want to show you guys some of the sequences. So what you do, like, you, um, if I just shoot these down a sec. Uh, I think if you shoot this, this, oh, ah. Uh, there's no like a uh, accuracy shot, so I'm just doing it because why not? So, but you basically shoot all of these and shoot ah oh, them, and then these body shots here. Sorry guys, and then there you go, got some melons, got some frame melons. Right, nice. I'm sorry for being a bit quiet, guys, but um, oops. The past couple of days, I've been feeling a bit off, and obviously I haven't been posting YouTube videos because. Uh, I just haven't really been feeling myself. Oh yo, I'm not having the Iron Sights Car 98. I'm just not having it. Oh yeah, having oh mate, Thompson. Oh mate, well that was gay. Literally got the first shots on me, that's gay. Freaking SMG. What are you doing? You camping little one. I'm just like, oh my god, yeah. I'm not, I'm just like, whenever I play 1v1, they just get annoyed. It's a 1v1, and if you like lose on it, then I get really competitive. And I'm... You. Oh, look at your nose, mate. Freaking man's not hot. Get out of here. Oh, you know what? I couldn't give it to rats. I couldn't give a rear anymore. Alright, so I'm basically giving you guys a tour of the headquarters. And also, this. this actually, this rock here, which I guess you can note by the uh, contractor or Major Howard. This rock here, is I going to. There's a there's a calling card. It's called Full Guy. I believe some challenges it's like an epic, like the lowest tier. Uh, those of you guys who are looking for easy sort of um uh, con uh calling cards, this one is Full Guy, full 38 feet in headquarters. I've tried it on this rock, but I've only got 36 out of 38. All you have to do is you have to jump off here, then jump, and then land in that ditch down there. So let me give you guys a running example. So jump. Obviously that was cr So get off the highest point of the rock, jump, and then fall down here. That's all you have to do. But obviously that was perfect and I still managed to screw it up. Let's try it again. Yo, oh, you know, I don't care anymore. I don't care. I'm done. But yeah, um, obviously the general's up there. It's where you can prestige. You unlock his area when you prestige. Uh, which is pretty cool. And also, I'm not sure if you guys saw that zombies tab down there. So I didn't know this. If you like head down here underneath like the gun, I thought this was like just trolling, saying, "Ah, oh, zombies!" Huh? 
I didn't realize there's an actual doorway to zombies. But you don't even get anything, so you may as well just back out here and then play zombies from here. So there's no point. You don't get anything from it. You don't get any sort of XP bonus or XP like um levels. You don't get anything. So you may as well just back out of the headquarters and then do it anyway. But yeah, uh enough of headquarters. What I was gonna do, uh obviously we've had a tour of the headquarters, I've showed you guys uh headquarters two point oh now I guess because that's the channel and fixed it. Thank you, Michael Condry. Uh, obviously, yeah, that's the division procedure down there, but you can also proceed your division. So, infantry, airborne, uh, put me on the spot here. Armoured, expeditionary, and mountain. But you can basically proceed all of them. Max prestige 4, I believe, or 5. But yeah, highest prestige I've got for any of my divisions is 1. I'm close to getting 2 for my mountain. But yeah, um, so yeah. I don't know. Uh, we obviously, I've obviously given you guys a tour um, of the headquarters. Uh, Mini, actually, no, I haven't. School Street trains over here, which I'm actually loving now. Cause you can just head up here, just like test whatever you want. So let's just launch this. So your headquarters, you can basically test out all your guns or all your school streaks. Uh, say we could try a carpet bomber, which is basically a um, uh, I can't think of an equivalent. Uh, I see the recon's the UAV, care package as well, the care package. Glide bomb, I think, the predator missile from Modern Warfare 3, for an example. Artillery, I really have no clue. Can't recon, but you can't UAV. I want to try to test you guys a car for You literally just select it, the school streak, and then there it is. Purchase, you know, oh, for test trial. You have a 1911, which, um, it's obviously been in, in 1911, dumbass. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, it's a, basically, it literally just drops like this. Where is it? There it is, no. That's, uh, oh, there it is. Boy, oh, I only got two. I got like a full on six man against AI scumbags. Let's try it again. I want to try that again, that's pathetic. Doesn't even look at it. There we go, that's better, triple boys. Now what I also want to try... Oh, what? Oh, you can call it unlimited, can you? Ah, okay. Uh, also, I want to show you guys some water strikes. In my opinion, it's a very good score streak. And the double. No! Stop it! Stop it! Water in position. Awaiting target so if you bring up this like, piece of paper on a map, and then it's like... Uh, I think equivalents, like, a lot of people are still playing Black Ops 3. Think of this as like the... Um, or... Uh, I can't think of it. I honestly don't remember what it's called. You make sure you bring that down there. And I guess in Infinite Warfare you could think of it as a bombardment. I can't remember what the equivalent of that in Black Ops 3 is. But yeah, that is um head uh that is the uh score street training. If you guys want to do a video on this then just let me know. You back out just by going onto the score streaks and then obviously leaving the score street training. Yeah guys, if you have enjoyed this video on Call of Duty World War 2, or like a bit of a tour of the headquarters, and if you want me to do some more Call of Duty World War 2, uh, then go ahead and hit the like button down below, or let me know in the comments saying, do some more COD World War 2, or hashtag World War 2, or something like that, or whatever you want to do it. And also, if you are enjoying these videos by me, and you want to, uh, just so you don't miss out, hit the little bell, so you never miss a video by me, and turn on notifications. And also hit the sub button as well, so you can um, uh, stay up to date with my content and just in case uh, YouTube's algorithms actually work and um, subscriptions actually do let you know. But yeah, either way, sub, because uh, it's free and um, it'll mean the world to me if you do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And I get that I haven't been uploading many vlog or many gaming videos just because I'm trying to turn more vlog, uh, like more into a vlog sort of channel. But I think I'll do like 95% vlogs and like 5% uh, gaming videos. So I'll just like a couple of gaming videos and mix in with a couple of vlogs. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. And as I said, do all those things. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah, boy.